what is the process of becoming an actor? Join an institute where you can learn acting. It can be any acting workshop or uh, it can be theatre. Because a lot of people, a lot of good actors do come from theatre industry. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome to the part 2 of our podcast with actor Meghan Jadhav. In this part, we'll learn all about how you can become an actor, what are the steps that you can take and what are the do's and don'ts and much more. So, Meghan, we should start with how your life was before you got into this field and how your life is right now. <laughs> it was the same because I started as a child actor. So mm-hmm. my life was much better not much different than what it is uh, right now. It was the same. I, I began at a very young age. I was an actor by the age of 12. So I started as a child actor. And uh, I can say I spent most of my life so far on the on the sets rather than uh, a playing ground or, uh, or, uh, or school or college. I mean, I did go to school. Uh, the most difficult part of... Uh, Becoming an actor was, becoming a child actor, was to manage the studies alongside. Mm-hmm. That was the most difficult part because I had to shoot, I had to manage my studies, I had to manage my attendance because everyone mm-hmm. who was in the school, were, some of them were supportive. My school was very much supportive, my college was very supportive. In fact, I got my admission uh, in cultural quota. But having not to go... Uh, to to college and you know, not having any any sort of attendance is is a big defaulting task that you do. Mm. But uh, somehow they they managed it. Uh, I used to study even on the sets. I would take the books on the sets. I would read. I would prepare for exams on the sets, and uh, my mom would also help me. So uh, so yeah. Before uh, now, though I'm I'm a full time actor now. But uh, before, of course, I had to manage my studies. That was the most difficult part. Uh, after becoming an actor, it's, it's more like a... It's still the same, to be honest. Why I'm saying this because uh, as a person, um, I, I tell this to a lot of people that I'm very boring. <laughs> I am someone who just goes to work, who goes to sh- shoot and comes back home, will watch movies, and just prepare for uh, the tomorrow's uh, scenes or whatever. So that's it. Nothing nothing else has changed uh, even all these years of acting. So you completed your studies. Like you did your master's basically. Yeah. And But we know a lot of actors, they you know, quit studying or they leave studying and pursue acting as a full-time career. So there are a lot of students watching right now. So, what would you suggest to them? Like, should they continue with their studies side by side, or should they, you know, go full fledgedly into acting? Absolutely, they should continue with their studies first. I mean, studies should be the basic of uh, of everything. You know, you have to have a degree. It's 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 a given. There is no other choice. You have to have a degree because that work has a backup of your uh, life. Mm. In in acting, what happens? Today you're working. Tomorrow you never know whether you have work or not. So what are you going to do if you don't get work? Mm. How are you going to run your house? So for that you need a job. And mm. uh, job will be provided if you are well educated. So <laughs> for that I feel studies are the basic things that a person should do first. They should complete their graduation or mm. uh, any other major subject. And uh, they should look at acting uh, as a passionate field, yes, but uh, to become a full-time actor, I I feel you need to have backup. I mean, when I was studying, uh, I never actually looked at it uh, as a backup, but I back of I studied uh, like I did my graduation in history and I did my mm-hmm. uh, masters in literature. So none of the above can actually <laughs> give me an employment <laughs> because nobody would want to hire a history graduate. Until unless it's a teaching job or anything. Mm. So, of course, I do not have this in my mind that I'm going to use this as my backup. Um, I'm so definitely just working full-time as an actor. But those who are aspiring to become an actor, mm. I feel they should first complete their education 
and uh, the first thing that they need to do is of course uh, if they already know how to act then it's amazing but uh, those who just want to start from the scratch they should uh, go to an acting institute and they should learn acting first they should then uh, of course it's a tedious task to find a, a role in today's uh, industry because uh, there is so much of competition going on there is like uh, there's one role and there are 100 people auditioning for it so so to get that one role you, know, you have to go through various auditions yeah. and uh, uh, i would say those who are watching it uh, i mean you don't have to feel uh, sad or you know upset for the fact that they didn't get selected at first because there have been so many cases where uh, i would say they have auditioned for like so many actors have auditioned for 15 16 uh, projects which did not happen mm-hmm. and on the 20th project they got it yeah so even in my case it has happened i have auditioned uh, 11 12 times at a stretch it didn't work out no wait 26 times i remember but 26 straight times i was rejected and this was after this? becoming uh, this was a very bad phase uh, uh, back in 2013 Okay. 2013 2014 uh, like after the finishing this show of mine saas bina sasura mm. uh, this i did not i did not know what to do next you know where to head because saas bina sasura was a hit show mm. and after that uh, i was in a zone where uh, i was not looking young like not so young not like a child actor and not like an older guy also Mm. so i was not fitting into any uh, any role in that moment like mm. be it a lead hero or a child actor i was in the middle somewhere in the middle mm-hmm. so at that time uh, you know i auditioned so many times but it did not work out but yeah of course i did not lose my hopes so i would say to all of the people who are watching that do not lose hope and you should just continue to uh, contribute to your struggle and uh, yeah things does fall into your uh, place <laughs> some day or the other so megan you did tell us like how an aspiring actor can get into this field but can you guide us step by step like what is the process of becoming an actor it's not that uh, simple to actually think of it <clears throat> i would say like i said post finish your graduation that's yeah. the must You know, finish all your studies, and then think of uh, becoming an actor. Uh, but to start with, I would say uh, join an institute where you can learn acting. It can be any acting workshop, or uh, it can be theater, because a lot of people, a lot of good actors, do come from theater industry. Mm. Uh, be it Hindi plays, Marathi plays. There are so many uh, language-based theater uh, mm. groups you know, who actually develops. good actors and uh, those are the like if you can see, i can i can even say sharuk khan and all these amazing actors have come from theater yeah so those who can join uh, the theater group early on in their uh, college career that will be great because side by side they'll be learning uh, theater and they'll be completing their education also so first they need to learn acting then the second process is like i said is very difficult you have to go on auditioning for parts you have to find an agent who can give you auditions there are various ways where you have to get your pro portfolio done you have to click pictures you have to you know groom yourself to to be presentable on the screen not everyone is blessed with a good uh, uh, looking body or face you know they have to you have to have a certain level of physique you know like how we see big actors like rithik and uh, maintaining their physique in each and every project so acting it is just one part of it but uh, if you look at it there are so many different aspects there are so many different parts back end parts which goes mm-hmm. on into into the making of becoming an actor like i said you know to getting the right physique to starting from the diet or uh, you know learning vocabulary learning how to speak in front of the camera so all these uh, parts are being taught in the acting workshop so 
first they can join a workshop and after that audition can provide them opportunities after that it's i can say 50% luck and 50% your talent <laughs> so you batted in movies mm-hmm. you batted in films and uh, you say that you watch movies every day like yeah. you've made a, a thing yeah so what is your favorite medium to consume like these days there are a lot of ott platforms yeah so do you like watching web series or movies or tv series what oh i i love watching movies because movies are the the baseline thing of any uh, media format i believe you know movies are the ones uh, which inspire people mm-hmm. i still prefer movies you know compared to tv shows or uh, or web shows because movies does provide the higher aspect of uh, cinematic experience and that's what i wanted to mention to people who are listening that uh, it's not only just going to the acting workshop but also watching movies can help you becoming a better actor so because that's how i became an actor that's how i i never learned it from anywhere i learned it from watching movies from watching the uh, different different contents be it bollywood or hollywood so uh, movies are my favorite of course there are uh, some amazing uh, content are being held up on the, the web platform there are some amazing web shows that are in the market these days so yeah <laughs> so like as you love movies and mm-hmm. you're a movie buff what are your top 5 favorite movies bollywood or hollywood you can say both okay <laughs> Bollywood of course I still prefer Bollywood over Hollywood even though I'm a big uh, Hollywood fan but uh, nothing can beat a hero dancing in front of the camera <laughs> true so uh, uh I have if I have to say five top movies then uh, first is Swadesh second is uh, Ranam third is Zindagi na milegi dobara fourth is Andaaz apna apna <laughs> and fifth is uh, chak de india <laughs> you can see i am i'm a big time shahrukh khan, khan yes yeah. same and, <laughs> and what about hollywood hollywood of course the the first uh, uh, like the first place movie would be uh, saving private ryan mm. uh, directed by steven spielberg uh, then second will be the notebook third will be 500 days of summer fourth will be la la land and uh, Fifth will be Avatar. Okay. It's a combination of, uh, it's like the kind of genres that I like is uh, is romantic and uh, action both and sci-fi too. I do watch. I forgot to mention there are some amazing Christopher Nolan movies that yes. I couldn't put it in top five. So, mm. what are some of your favorite Christopher Nolan movies? Uh, it has to be Interstellar. Okay. Nothing can beat that movie. I mean, I was just. that was one movie i was constantly on the edge of my seat you know while watching i was just like this ki okay, how's it what's happening and you know of course it was so difficult to understand also yeah and that movie was about space travel and uh, time travel uh, then uh, another movie which recently came out uh, last year dune i was mm. yeah. I'm, i'm i was all struck by the kind of cinematic experience the movie can provide like Dune or Avatar. I rewatched it again when it was released. So I had a follow up question on the OTT thing. So mm. basically, uh, OTT platforms are gaining more popularity these days. Yes. So do you think what medium do you think will grow more in the coming five years? Um, I mean, we have seen in the recent times that movies are not doing that great, mm. and the main culprit, <laughs> I can say, is OTT. because all the movies are being uh, shown on the ott platform before you can actually watch it in the screen you know, in the theaters so so ott is becoming a large stream platform these days and uh, some amazing web shows are being made over there and the good part is uh, our the, the actors that we used to watch in films do, those people are also doing the ott shows Uh, so it's already gaining popularity but at the same time it's becoming more uh, a subject which is uh, being spoken about so i believe web show has taken over uh, tv and movies both right. so let's see in the coming time everybody will move to ott 
but mm-hmm. that's something that's good for the audience is it something that's good for the film industry as well you know we know actors no 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 it's definitely not good for uh, <laughs> for tv actors so it's definitely a big no because uh, tv used to do much more better before uh, ott came in um, like in the last uh, 15 16 years of uh, my career so far uh, i have seen the the growth of tv being at the very peak and the downfall of tv because of uh, web content mm-hmm. and uh, last 4 uh, years i think i should say pandemic became another reason why it, it started failing even more the tv mm-hmm. content uh, like previously uh, tv shows used to run for good amount of time like one year two years three years sometimes you know 6 7 years and i've been part of uh, some of the shows which have ran for 3 years but uh, i can say in the last 4 years i've been part of almost uh, almost 8 to 9 shows in the last 5 years and the reason being uh, the shows are not doing that great how shows used to do before every show has has a limitation now and a viewer is watching it only for a limited period of time they have you know it's difficult to keep them hooked to tv and the reason being what you they are bringing a film like content mm-hmm. on the same uh, platform it's easily accessible you know we get to watch it on the small tablets or phones uh, so nobody is willing to spend a time in front of tv and you know you know they it's easily accessible you can watch it at the time you're traveling uh, so OTT has in a way ruined <laughs> TV, I can say. But uh, and that is not a great thing for an actor because an actor thinks uh, at least you know the show will run for a longer period of time and you know he will he wouldn't have to look for work because uh, it does take a time for any actor to get one project and after finishing uh, the other one. So uh, so yeah, uh, OTT. will become even more bigger than before and uh, tv has somehow struggled so far and i believe ott will take over in the coming time so have you ever struggled with something like this before uh, yeah post pandemic things have been very difficult for mm-hmm. uh, for every industry be it films be it ott or be it tv pre covid there was this phase where tv shows were you know going on for a long time post that during the pandemic what happened everybody started using uh, utilizing that time the time being at home you know watching web shows and that is when industry you know went from this transition where they started releasing their movies on ott earlier we would go uh, to cinema halls and you know watch movies but suddenly all of people all the people were you know they were given access to movies on on their phone tablets so so in a way everything was coming on ott tv shows stopped uh, coming for a period of 2 3 months so your audience connect was lost and suddenly the same audience who used to watch your show started watching some ott content you know side watching web shows so uh, so i would say uh, in a way pandemic did affect uh, this this shift of change because that is one of the reason why people who are uh, now you know given access to some larger contents over the period of time they can choose from a comedy genre to action or uh, you know uh, so nobody is looking at uh, the daily soaps anymore that is one sad truth but uh, yeah <laughs> okay so um like you shared a lot of your experience and i'm pretty sure that people have learned a lot from that mm-hmm. but what would you advise people that are watching right now the aspiring actors that are watching right now what would be your advice to them i would say uh, those who are willing to act uh, in today's time it is a difficult time to get into but uh, with the help of social media like i can see a lot of social influencers are also part of uh, this industry now so people are uh, becoming actors through these uh, social media platforms too you know they're gaining popularities 
uh, and it's not a bad thing i mean a lot of people look at it uh, from a bad perspective that you know influencers are becoming an actor but that is also a difficult task you know where they are i mean and no way uh, be meaning any person who are who have become an actor after becoming a social influencer uh, but like i said it's in today's time it is much more easy to become an actor through various platforms nepotism has always been there <laughs> so that will become a serious topic but uh, of course people who come from the industry family will continue to be be part of it but those who are willing to act those who are aspiring to become an actor there are various ways uh, they can uh, you know just show their talents because uh, social media is at its peak right now it wasn't before uh, you know there was no instagram when we started acting there was no facebook when we started acting but nowadays through instagram and through you know, social media through youtube uh, you know they can showcase their talent and that's how people are gaining popularity and uh, slowly uh, i would say you know they can go through that way and the other way i can say i would say you know just try can uh, keep your hard work at ease and uh, just focus on your uh, work some day some good work will follow <laughs> true some day a fluke might happen to them as oh yeah of course so, <laughs> <laughs> if not fluke hard work will definitely pay yes so thank you so much for giving so much insight into your career and into this industry yeah. so i am pretty sure that everyone got a very valuable lesson and a valuable experience by watching this podcast i hope so <laughs> i hope you guys feel the same and if you have any kind of questions or queries you can let us know in the comment and we'll try to answer them as soon as possible so thank you for watching let's do keep learning keep growing